Welcome back to the Conqueror Show. I am your host, Gadoni Mutugi. And today, we continue with the amazing story by Judy Mugo. And we left at where the father did not want to see her. Now, this is the sister that was telling Judy. So, you went to your sister and then she told you, Ata usijaribu. Ata usijaribu. Your dad. Amesema, ukuja kumzika. What? <laughs> I felt like dying. Any have you ever felt that now you are all alone? Yeah. Yeah. That's how I felt. I just cried. I just cried and because I, I remember I just asked my sister, Sasa <laughs> Tufanya. You know, because now it's like you've come to the end of it. Yeah. Yeah. Now you have no hope at all at mm. all. Because now me what wanna bona, we call a ball. Always yet to be a mutu. Mm. You don't know where your daughter is. Yeah. You don't know where. You don't have even a house. You don't have a home. Mm. You know, you are housed. Yeah. So it was too much for me. So and uh, my uh, my sister to advise me. Let us go see our elder sister. Mm. At least from there, mm. and as I to advise what to mm. do. So we. I went to my elder sister. Mm place and then uh akaniambia mm. akaniambia hey like, uh now what uh the family now of my ex my my ex husband wana sema aje because they had told me ameni kujia na hajani kujia that is ah, a month before yeah Bile, uh, when he left mm. wali nikola after a month akaniambia wali alisema ana nikujia na hakuwa issue up so hata hawajui ako api so my brother-in-law told me that uh, it seems even these people how are good mm. so it a bit and your baby hey. where is your baby now when i and i say my my baby mm. i think i'll go now na ye, mm. na my sister-in-law mm. now that time yeah so my brother-in-law told me the best thing mm. it a, because there is a case that i told did your dad inaenda kuuzwa the shamba inaenda kuuzwa so the only thing is to follow up vile your ex husband atapatikana ndio title deed itoke mm. then umrudishe relationship na your dad yeah so akaniambia saw the following day sisi paka kitali where mm. now my baby was mm. with the sister mm. now with my ex husband sister mm. so i went i went there and nikakuta my baby and uh, the kaka but i was so much depressed mm. sasa depression ilikuwa inaingia i wasn't talking to anyone and anyway, i was just mm. my life was just like that mm. so that evening nikasikia some uh, uh, waka receive a call mm. na akili sound kama my ex husband but you know at that time wananiambia hata hawajui kwenye yuko na nika, unajua vile mtu anaweza sikia mtu akiongea mm. uka, you can tell the voice eh? mm. So I had that voice of my husband mm. at that time. Wak nikauliza, "Eh, hey, huyo ni Robert?" akaniambia hapana. Mm. So, but it kept on disturbing me that night. So mm. I called my brother in law nikamwambia, "I hey, mean, nimesikia ni kama Robert alipiga simu, but wameniambia si yeye." Mm. Wakaniambia, "You just hang on mm. until you know the truth." But now I'm not even comfortable there mm. because I'm feeling so much rejection mm. even at that particular mm. time. Because I so I told my sister in law mm. nitaka kidogo because mm. hata nikienda I don't know where I'm going mm. to. Wacha nikae mm. at least nikae na mtu So I lived there for some time. Mm. Uh sijaiambia ni wana pregnant. So until it started showing. It started showing and uh, ni kind of even for like five months six months pregnant then one particular time nimekatu nika nikasikia knock then it was my husband akakuja akaniambia sasa ninamuona six months late and akaniambia oh uh, hiyo kesi ilikuja ikakuwa ngumu mimi nikaona mm. niende nikamwambia ukaniwacha and i am pregnant mm akaniambia sasa wewe niliona tutaanza kusumbuana nini nini ati utaki kunifuata like that utataka ku mambo ya your dad so i forgave him mm. yeah i forgave him but now 
I was torn. Mm. <laughs> I was torn into my mm. dad. Yeah. Sasa ama ni yeye. Mm. You know. Mm. So ni kamua kunyamaza to both my my brother-in-law mm. na na to him. Mm. Sasa siezi muambia anatafutwa mm. na siezi ambia my brother-in-law mm. amekuja. Mm. So I just I remember I I just told God. Mm do your will mm. let your will be done mm. kama atashikwa sawa mm. kama atashikwa mm. sawa but sasa mimi mahali nimefika i don't know what to yeah. do so two weeks later mm. oh so my my husband akaka sana after mm. two days akasema anaenda kutafuta job mm. but he didn't tell me where mm. so t- akasema tarudi after two weeks mm. two weeks later amekuja tajamaliza 30 minutes mm? ushaiona movie mm. <laughs> action mm. <laughs> niliona mapori mlisi wa mkuja wana surround wako kwa wanakimbia around the house wengine wako nyuma wengine wako mbele What? wengine wako kwa mlango wengine wako kwa, kwa <laughs> it was like a movie it's like they are coming for a criminal what <laughs> yes hey, kuka hivi nikaambia my ex husband kai mapolisi aka nikamwambia ingia kwa wardrobe Nikamwambia kwa wardrobe. Hata onekana kwa wardrobe. Eh hata onekana. Yaani je ona akitoka nje ameshutiwa. Mm. Me thought I thought that's what's going to happen. Mm. So uh, nikafungwa mlango. Kufungwa mlango polisi akaniuliza, "Ako wapi? Ako wapi?" Nikamwambia sijui. Eh hey, nilichapwa kofi. <laughs> nilichapwa si kofi tu na mm. mateke. What? Eh hey, it was bad nilichapo until one police ndio akasema wewe huyu mama ana mimba <laughs> ndio wakaniwacha wakaniambia now you can search wakamtoa ndani ya wardrobe sure. mm. so wakaniambia wewe unatesa baba yako unaficha criminal huko unataka shamba ya baba yako ipote so nika I was just crying mm. nilia nimechapwa mm. niko in pain mm. I was just crying so akaniambia toka toka twende nje twende nje uambie uambie baba yako kwa nini unamtesa so my dad had come also ah. and I didn't know, I don't know who baka leo sijui ni nani alimuita si, I don't know because alikuwa ameka 2:30 minutes kwa kwa hao sikujua polisi walikuja saa ngapi my dad alitoka na kuru saa ngapi tukitali I didn't know baka leo I, I don't know what happened so akam waka wakanibeba nikaenda kwa mai nikapata my dad kwa gari akaniangalia akatindisha tu kichwa hata hatukuongea wakambeba wakabeba my husband sasa mm. so mi sikuwa na simu nikatembea some ki, some 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 ka distance mm. nikapata call box mm. i called my sister in law now the ones we were living yeah. with kumpigia akaambia ah wewe ndio umeita polisi mm wewe ndo ume, ume, umekuwa ukitaka brother yetu ashikwe what what now they started blaming, blaming you yes kaniambia hata sasa hatutaki kukuona ni wewe na ni wewe umeita polisi sasa <laughs> i don't know what to do that's another reaction sasa it's like all round yeah like no one yeah no one wants wana. to see yeah, no one wants to see me So I made up my mind now I'll take my baby and my pregnancy and go to the streets mm. that was my conclusion So nikangojia the following day mm. ni pack up my things and we go back to Nairobi because sasa siezi ataenda nakuru siezi ataenda mm. see even my sister that particular time they had their own episodes so mm. you have no where to go mm. So nikamwa mimi nitaenda Nairobi nikaeka wale wa mama wanakaanga <laughs> kwa street kwa street na watu wao mm. until me on what next mm. so at that time mm. nika 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 oh my brother in law mm. the now my that my sister in law that time alikuwa married mm. so akakuja wakaniambia the the, the now the, the husband akamwambia nyinyi amko mm. fair na gidi mm. because all along mm. mlijua where you, your brother is mm. but you didn't 
No, you didn't, didn't tell her. You didn't tell her. Mm. And even if ingekuwa you, you protected your mm. brother. Nani mm. alikuwa na protect his dad, mm. her dad. Mm. So nika wakasema so hapo uh, at least ndio wakaanza ku feel and mm. we are not fair. Mm. So nika remain kuka huko mm. but this relationship was in the heart mm. good at mm. that time. Mm. Because now they are working out mm. vile watatu their brother now amepelekwa Nairobi sasa mm. ameletwa Nairobi amepelekwa remand. Mm. Yeah. So at that time nikaanza kushuka na shuka Mm, at least kwa eh, pesa eh, na nikipata pesa ile napata mm. na ikakuwa bahasha anapelekewa remand <laughs> anapelekewa remand ndio at least akule chakula poa <laughs> askose katishi yani like that yani love love <laughs> i just yani cg i was just selfless Wow. Yeah. And that time tulikuwa tumepitia na yeye, tulikuwa tumefungiwa hao before mm. to catch up. Tulikuwa tumefungiwa hao. So we had a ka a ka episode also together. Mm. So after that, akakandani 6 months. Mm. Another like 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 not 6 months, like 4 uh, more months. Mm. Like 4 more months. So ne, I joined a church mm. karibu tu hapo but I, every time we came to church mm. i was just crying for him mm. and i to god i'm released i to god i'm released mm. and i was so intense until people noticed kwa church mm. because siko naongea na mtu mm. i could only cry mm. awal kwa naona anga tu nalia tu nikipray mm. nalia tu nikipray mm. until now a couple another couple mm. wakaniita wakananiambia asante Mm. Oh, Kanuliza. Oh, Kanuliza. Oh, they didn't know even my name. Mm. Kanuliza. Who are you? Mm. Tumekuwa tukikuona church. Mm. And the only thing umekuwa ukifanya ni kulia tu. Kulia tu. Mm. So I told them about my story. So they began praying with me. Mm. Now, eventually after some time wakani wakaniletea baka clothes. Mm. So this, this is Kitale. Yeah, this is Kitale. Mm. So after some time a neighbor mm. aka realize ajai niona nikienda clinic. Mm. <laughs> Na kiona hii mimba it's deep. Mm. But ajai ona kama ninaenda clinic si huwa sitoki. Mm. So aka a neighbor called aka niuliza. Mm. By the way ushaienda clinic? Anambia. Mm. Sijaienda ta clinic. What? Uh, aka niuliza how many months? Mm. Nikamwambia I think niko niko deep. <laughs> kama bi think ni kodi mm. but uh, sijawai enda mm. so akanichukua akaenda akanipeleka uh, a government mm. yeah government mm. hospital there nikajili nikaonekana am due mm. am almost due mm. but sasa there's nothing much wangefanya mm. because uh, walijaribu tu kufanya what they could mm. at that time mm. because nilikuwa almost mm. so like a few weeks later nika mm. nikaanza ku kukuwa na labor pains mm. nimekuwa na labor pains around 11 mm. at night mm. but i'm not saying mm. na umwa tu na umwa tu na fungua mlango na toke nje napiga raundi kwa compound na rudi mm. na lala kidogo because i can't even communicate any mm. feel rejection yani you can you don't you, you just want to suffer alone yeah yeah so it, it kind of was, until now the husband of my sister in law mm. i realize ah i think she's having labor mm. so they started organizing the way they mm. tapele for hospital mm. so there was no car to take me to hospital mm. so wakaona eh huyu ameshindwa baka kutembea na sema ndio huyu mtoto anakuja ndio huyu mtoto anakuja wakasema the only thing is to walk to hospital mm. tukatembea <laughs> tukatembea until ikafika mahali sasa nikashindwa mm. so wakaanza waka kudeliberate ama tumazalie hapa kwa barabara or anything akasema kia mia so the women wenye tulikuwa nao my neighbors wakasema kisia tujui kuzalisha <laughs> so itabidi 
tujue vile tutafanya mm. lazima afike hospitali mm. so they saw a cup passing mm. wakaisimamisha mm. wakauliza uko mko na pesa mm. <laughs> wakasema eh hey, na hakuna mwenye alikuwa na doa at that time mm. Mm. so tukapelekwa hosi mm. kufika hosi hivi mm. stima zikapotea hosi so i didn't have anything mm in major government hospital one kwa nataka that time unaenda na you are mm. you are gloves you are ah. <laughs> everything mm. ya ya ku deliver mtoto mm. i didn't have anything even clothes za mtoto si kwa tana vest <laughs> yeah nothing so stima zimepotea mm. wanashindwa watafanya nini mm. ni matochi um, mtoto ana calm it was so devastating for mm. everyone yeah so ninaumwa nasikia mm. kupush and mm. everything but there's nothing they can wangefanya this time mm. so eventually stima zikarudi mm. nikapata mtoto na ulizo nguo ziko wapi hakuna hakuna <laughs> mm. na ulizo yako ya kuchange sina, sina. <laughs> so eventually waka 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 nika, another lady alikuwa amejifungua akanipea leso mm. that is what wali rap mtoto mtoto no. nayo mm. nikapewa another lesson nikajifunga mm. so tukaka usi nimemaliza nime deliver mm. uh, <laughs> lakini hatuna do mm. za kunitoa husi mm. i think ilikuwa inalipishwa around 1000 hatuko mm. kwa na hiyo 1000 so nikaka husi two days <laughs> three days <laughs> just because of 1000 1000 yes Ushisikie kuweka mtoto kwa paper bag. Ukatie kwa fence. Niko nimeanza kupanga. What? Vile nitakaweka kwa paper bag mm. na leso hivyo vile kamefungwa. Mm. Nipitie kwa fence. Nipitie kwa fence. Baka kwa main road. Mm. Yeah, but eventually somebody came. Mm. I think my my sister in law I think sijui alipewa na nani. Mm so wakakuja wakanitoa basa hiyo mm. leso you know the way mtoto huwa anapupuyo the first yeah. mycone ya mio imeshika leso sasa leso imeshika mtoto imeshika mtoto yani atujuaizi hata atujai muosha hatuna anything <laughs> so we went at my sister's place my sister in law we went back now nika call my sister mwenye na follow mm akanileta nguo mm. na akanipatia 1000 tukanunua mm. napi mm. tukakata maleso mm. a few things <laughs> a few uh, things yeah mm. so tukaanza life mm. eventually my my ex husband mm. akatolewa aka jela akakuja akatuona mm. some i think a week later mm. akatuona akasema sasa wachaende atafute job mm. but sasa atakuwa na my dad akariliziwa the mm. title deed mm wakapata another uh, bond like mm, that mm. so eventually yeye akakuja Nairobi mm. mimi nikabaki kitali na watoto wangapi no, really. oh, really. mm. tukaka for some time mm. i didn't know that my sister in law mwenye tukua tunaishi naye na the husband mm. walikuwa na kuwa na issues mm. so siku moja wamesema wanakuja Nairobi mm. they never came back what nimeacha na watoto wawili mm. kuna rent <laughs> Mm. nimeanza ku sina job so eventually uh, tuka atukambio tu, nyumba inafungwa mm. sina in, siko na contact za anyone mm. hawajawahi rudi it's been a month <laughs> nimekuwa nikikula kwa neighbor na watoto mm. so eventually uh, my neighbors walikuwa na hama to mm. their own home now. Yeah. Wakaniambia sasa hapo uweze ka na mm. sisi tunahama. Mm. So twende na we, mm. na wewe na watoto. Mm. So tukaenda in another katown in Kitale mm. inaitwa Cherangani. Mm. Tukaenda tukakaa nao sasa. So my sister in law I think eventually walikuja wakachukua vitu zao mm. wakaenda. Mm. So mimi nikabaki na mm. Na wakuuliza hata where you are. I don't know. Mm. Sijika waliuliza but now my husband mm. aliuliza mm. because alikuja mm. so but after a while mm. vile nimekaa now for, for with that couple for a while mm. wakaanza kunitafutia job mm. so nikapata job na insurance mm-hmm. 
ya kuuza mm. policies mm. so tuka tuka kanao ni ka mm. eventually the, the my husband came akaniambia amekuja kutuchukua nikamwambia mm. nimepata job mm. and i'm supposed to start training mm. next week so ni wacha nimalize training mm. nifunzisho nifunzwe ku mm. kuuza insurance mm. because i have never done it before mm nifunzo kufanya insurance mm. and then mm. I'll join you in Nairobi actually na jua watu wengi in Nairobi mm. it will be easier for mm. me to sell policies in mm. Nairobi than here mm. akaniambia sawa mm. ukaka kidogo waka akanipe akarudi akaniambia my mom amekata mm. amesema twende nikamwambia mm. aki so tukasit wote baka na the couple mm. tukasikizana it is good mm. at least ni train at least hata nikikuja Nairobi mm. sitakuwa ni idol yeah wakasema ni sawa mm. hata watani wata support mm. get even a house girl mm. and uh, even like a small house mm. even if it's one room mm. at least even my when my husband comes kutuona mm. we have our own house wakasema mm. ni sawa mm. So the following day we receive another call. Mm. Si tumesikizana na wamerudi Nairobi. Mm. Na mimi nime wakaniambia mm. wacha nichukue tuchukue mtoto the, the girl now mm. ndio alikuwa mkubwa. Mm. Mimi nibaki naka kadogo at least it will be easy even for me mm. nisikwe na burden kubwa. Mm. And then ukitukikuki ukikam at least uh, atakuwa na mimi so mm. you don't have to worry. Mm. It's okay. So wakakuja na mtoto my my daughter now mm. wakakuja nae Nairobi mimi mm. nikabaki nikaanza mm. training. Mm. Kwanza training mm. na jaribu kupiga simu. I end it through. Mm. Napiga nao my husband mm. I end it through. Mm. Na jaribu kupiga my sister in law mm. I end it through. Mm. Sijui Nairobi wanakaa mm. wapi months zikapita i'm not even receiving a call from them mm. months zikapita zikapita a year two years three what years. yeah but during your time so you're just with your son yeah i'm just with my son so mm. kumbe walienda wakienda so nimebaki na my son i don't know where my daughter is mm. i don't know where my husband is wale ni wacha hivyo na walikuwa wamesema watakuwa na ni support na they'll be coming mm. and I'll join them yeah uh, so i was devastated mm. sasa ikakuwa sasa nikaona this one mm. it's the end kabisa mm. but my sister akani call akaniambia mm. eh dada amenipigia mm. amenianiambia mm your husband and him pigi amemwambia mm. she's he's no longer interested mm. with you na hayuko na wewe nikamwambia na kwa nini hakuniambia mm. alisema ati umekatalia kitali mm. and in case anything happens to mm. you wajue you are not they are not you are not together yeah. anymore so tukakaa na that couple mm. nika work insurance for some time mm. then later the couples began having issues mm. their, their marriage mm. so so you move, had to move so i have to move or can you lazima ni move mm. at least ndio because at uh, the lady was moving out mm. so sikujua naenda wapi mm. but i ended up in a pastor's house mm. nikaka na pastor mm. in, in the pastor's in the pastor's place at least for like uh, two months mm. I got now my a house mm. at a small, in Kitale yeah in Kitale mm. a small house ya cardboard mm. <laughs> tukaingia uko na my baby mm. tukaka uko I'm still, still yeah, I'm still selling insurance but nimekaa whole year mm. bila kuuza policy hata moja so mm. I'm not earning yeah so I'm just getting some uh, my my sisters wana ni support mm. like yeah but ikafika mahali sasa mm. it's not even enough yeah hata siwezi hata kulipa rent ya hiyo cardboard mm. <laughs> so nikaka nikaka na areas mm. za months mm. so eventually mm. uh, one day mm. i got involved in an, another relationship mm. i didn't know that relationship mm. that man was married mm. so alikuwa ananiambia yeye aliachana na wife kitambo mm. so 
I got involved with him. Mm. After some time when I started, I realized that he's married, mm. Nikaanza ku pull up mm. out. But before then, mm. in that small cardboard, mm. one Sunday, mm. I was attacked mm. at night. Mm. Yeah, it was not just that. It was I call it I usually call it an evil night. Yeah. An evil night because mm. I could sense during the day something wrong. You know, like when mm. I have instincts, something wrong, but you can't tell yeah. what, what exactly. Uh, what exactly yeah. yeah. So that night took mm. uh, around three. In his care two, my neighbor Kikatwa Katwa. Akikatwa Katwa. Wakisema toe pesa, toe pesa. So nkajua, tume atakiwa na, na wezi. So after like three minutes, nikasikia tu nimeambiwa. Fungua mlango hii usunajua ni kufungua matufunue. <laughs> Because ilikuwa ni ya card, yeah. ni ya cardboard. Ni ufungue ya matufunue. <laughs> Tuingie. So ni, vile nilifungua tu mlango hizi, mm. nilipigwa tekea hapa. Mm. I fell. Mm. So from then there were f- like five guys mm. and I was raped with all of them. What? Yes. Ah, hapo sasa ndio tuliambiana na Mungu and they were so cruel it was just evil an evil night because they heard all the time. Huyu huyu anakuvuta inche hivi na miguu kwa 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 mchanga. Anaambiwa eh hey, malizia you know it was just an evil night. So nika wakienda wanaenda wanarudi they rape again you know it was just an In evil night. My son or oh, that time my son nilikuwa nimempea kwa my sister my my auntie mm. because sasa sikuweza sikuwa naweza kumpea food and mm. everything sikuwa na afford at food mm. so my auntie akamchukua for a month mm. so that period mm. ndio nilikuwa attacked mm. so nikaona hao watu vile wanaenda wanarudi the rape way. wanaenda wanarudi the rape like that nikaona wataniua so nikakimbia kwa shamba ya mahindi nikaona wananifuata bila nili ile analinifuata msi jui shimo kulikuwa kumbe na shimo kwa shamba nikaingia nikaanguka ndani hiyo shimo so they didn't see where nilienda wakaona maybe nime disappear so at that time ndio tulimalizana na god <laughs> niliambia god wewe umeamua kunipesa si kutaki actually I waited till morning mm. that was around 3 mm. I waited till morning 5 nikasema nikatoka kwa shimo mm. nikasema nenda ya nyumba nyuma ya nyumba mm. I will curse you if you want ukitaka kunipiga radi <laughs> nipige <laughs> nipige lakini tumemalizana yeah it was too much mm. yeah it was too much wow. so nikaenda nyuma ya nyumba mm nikaenda nyuma ya nyumba na nikamwambia so nika look juu hivi sasa so, i'm ready to curse god mm. akitaka kunimaliza ni sawa i mean <laughs> nimwambia i know you have the power mm. but tumemalizana mm. i will curse you mm. nichape radi it's okay mm. so when i look up mm. like this mm. and i was ready to open my mouth and curse god mm. nilifin na mwambia thank you Wow. and I started worshiping I worshiped wow. I worshiped and the more I'm worshiping hapa na kwanga emotional not wow the more I'm worshiping the more I'm feeling that pain being lifted yes being lifted wow and I'm feeling so complete wow I'm feeling so complete and uh, I was just saying thank you thank you thank you thank wow. you thank you i couldn't even mm. curse him yeah yani he's <laughs> i mm. felt he was so good <laughs> you know mm. he was so good wow. and they could just love on him mm. regardless mm. yes yeah, he was still worth wow. he was still worthy to be of my praise yeah. and, and and he had done so much he yeah. i could remember the way he has walked with me through those seasons mm. those seasons nimekuwa yani ni bado ninge identify yeah. he has been there you never lost your mind yes i never lost yani there was something mm. i could hold on to that god has been with me wow so i called at that time nikapata strength 
and I called a friend of mine who used to work with, I used to work with her. And Kamombia, eh, this and this has happened, I've been raped and uh wapi. So she came and took me to hospital. So nikapele kwa hospital, nikapewa those um uh, dawas mm. za ku uh, za ku prevent pregnancy yeah. na ku prevent any infections mm. like that so it was not easy for me mm. at that time mm. that same i think the following day i can get my first salary mm. wow. <laughs> that i've been waiting for yeah. my first salary a mm. year later mm. uh nika I can get another house, a mm. permanent house yeah. now. And I brought in my, my baby mm. now from my auntie's place. But so this, this other baby, you don't know where the baby si is? Your yeah, husband yeah. Your husband is. yeah, I don't know. Mm. So I have to know you. Now I have to make up my mind. Let me now focus. Mm. So after two weeks, I have to mm. prevent from HIV and everything. Mm. One day, I have to go to bed. Even. Siskimi gu. Siskimi gu. Yani hati muli feel this part. Hei na shindwa. Yani hata ni kijaribu ku, kuinua migu. Si feel anything. It's like my nerves zilikuwa za migu zilikuwa zime die. So di kapigia that uh, uh, daktari. Haka niambia. Hizo ni, uh, ni side effects za hizo dawa. Yeah, so ikafika mahali na we could now feel pain, pain, pain. Nikamuliza sasa hata siwezi kanyanga chini ni pain. So sikuwa nina, nilikuwa na pele kwa choo, nilikuwa na oshwa. You know it was, ujui itaisha lini and I'm supposed to take these drugs for like 28 days. It was, yani, <laughs> it was so hard. Yeah. It was so hard at that time. Mm. But there was one thing. I feel God. Yeah. God alikuwa tunamini. So at that time, tukaendelea tu. Tukaendelea tu na na life with now with my son. Already niko kwa hii relationship ya married man. Hataki kuniwacha. The more na muacha ameanza kukuwa na violent. And you know nilikuwa kwa ile place ya ninataka a place that nineza feel accepted na feel someone loves me back mm. so nilikuwa nimempenda mm. but yet nina, this is not what i wanted mm. it's not go, going out with a married man mm. See, it's not what i really wanted mm. at that time or any other time mm. so akani akaanza kukuwa violent mm. because nina muacha mm. akakuwa violent akaanza kuniharibia job mm. so this one time nimeenda Nimeenda job na nakuru mm. ninapigiwa simu ninaambiwa ah oh, nyumba yako inaungua na mtoto ako ndani <laughs> nyumba iliungua ikaisha so wame, majirani wanajaribu kutafuta mtoto <laughs> hawamuoni because the house is full of smoke be, na nilikuwa nimemwachia a house girl so uh, one of the neighbors ndio alijia kama alijimwagi ni maji akachukua blanket akaingia ndani sasa juu hajui it was a two roomed house juu hajui mtoto wako wapi hajui bed iko wapi nini so alienda ki akichuna chuna hivi akishikashika hivi until eventually aka, mtoto akasikia mtoto wa mitan amemeka sound akamchukua hivyo alikuwa amelala eh alikuwa amelala kumbe vile amelala alijifunika so mm-hmm. husky smoke husky because the smoke was too much yeah. already the one of the rooms roof ilikuwa chini mm-hmm. the curtains zilikuwa zimeungua mm-hmm. and everything mm-hmm. so uh, mimi sijafika nime niko on my way home mm-hmm. but naambiwa hata mtoto haonekani mm-hmm. So niko tu kwa matatu people are sympathizing with me mm. nini my house is on fire like that mm. so i lost everything mm. everything was burned but my 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 son survived so this time what mm. what is in your mind like uh, what 
what are you thinking? Now fikiria ni merogwa. I felt like I'm cast or something. Yeah. It's like I'm cast. Mm. Yeah, and it's not, nothing good is happening mm. in my life. Mm. Yeah. Wow. But uh, I was still hopeful. Mm. Yeah, I was mm. still hopeful. Mm. Yeah, I was still hopeful that um, God akona I mean, You know that ka strength. Mm. I realized that uh, the strength nilikuwa natumia jana it's not mm. the same same strength I'm using it today. Yeah. So vile vitu zina unfold mm. nina find a new strength. Mm to walk through it yeah, yeah to walk through it mm-hmm. so this this man ameanza kokuwa violent ananichapa amekuwa physical ananichapa mm-hmm. niko na ma black eye ameanza kuniaribia job because anapiga back a head office mm-hmm. anasema vile ni client mm-hmm. nimekula pesa yake mm-hmm. pol, uh, premiums you know mm-hmm. ninakuwa under investigation mm-hmm. so eventually mm-hmm. nikampeleka kotini mm-hmm ni kampele ka kotini ya kwa restraining order mm-hmm. so from that time mm-hmm. life ikaanza kuku job ikaishi ika, mm-hmm. kan kama inaisha mm-hmm. so nikarudi tena square one mm-hmm. nikarudi square one ya, ya ku jaribu ku mm-hmm. ku za insurance mm-hmm. like that so nikarudi ya god mm-hmm. but uh, nikakuwa in another relationship mm-hmm. two years later now mm-hmm. So how long how long is this how many years mm. since your son left your your daughter left three your years. husband or three years yes okay yeah that and is, you don't know where they are yeah, i don't know where they are mm. so at 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 a particular time this is only part a call three, three years later mm-hmm. nikapata a call mm-hmm. uh, with a ugandan number nika aka nika akaniambia ni yeye akaniambia anataka mm. and ako sorry vile aliniwacha and everything mm. so na anaweza taka so my son ali mwache, I think my son I think was a, a, a month mm-hmm. so he's three years now mm. and akaniambia anaweza taka my, my son aone my son so at that time mm. nikamsamehe mm. <laughs> and i wanted my man back my husband back what <laughs> and we work it out mm. Mm. so mimi huyo Uganda kind of my daughter and my son now and we reunited mm-hmm. it was such an amazing time eh? mm-hmm. could reunite now my baby girl am kwa mkubwa and then how I we may meet as a both of my kids mm-hmm. we may meet mm-hmm. now at least wako huyu anajua ko na sister huyu anajua ko na brother you know mm-hmm. yeah so we decided to try and work things yeah. out mm-hmm. mm, kamwambia now since uli uli piga simu ukasema you are not you are no longer with me mm. i think the best thing is to now do it the right way yeah we go home so uh, was he willing to because um, I, i want us to wind up yeah was he willing to you know take you back or what happened he, yes he was willing to work it out mm. but he didn't do anything at that time vile mm. tulikuwa tumesikizana in the home mm. we do it the right way mm. so another year ikapita mm another year ikapita mm. nikaona hayuko it's like he was not uh, interested in yeah. you know. still in Uganda eh uh, still in Uganda mm. so after that nikaamua ku move on mm. so we never worked it out yeah. we never worked it out mimi nikabaki na nini ikakuwa war mm. ya yeah, mimi na watoto because at that particular time siku kuwa na stable job yeah. and everything mm. so akakatalia watu mm. akakatalia watoto mimi mm. nikabaki Kenya sasa mm. So and it never worked out. Mm-hmm. So and it's been years my first born baby girl now she's 17 years. <laughs> my second my boy is now almost 13. Yeah. Yeah and it's been and I see too now and mm-hmm. one day mm-hmm. one day I know I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be but, with but them. But have you ever talked to them? Yes, I have visited them mm-hmm. but uh, it's been some years now mm-hmm. since uh, niende because ali remarry mm. na hajawahi wa release hata wakuje wanione mm. but um, once in a while mimi huongea nao mm. yeah mimi huongea nao oh, okay. yeah but wow. through now his phone yeah yeah, wow. yeah. and some, and now they're in boarding school so mm. i can only talk to them when they're mm, they at home they are at home yeah. Yeah. and one day i know mm. and they ushaya tia god mm. watoto wako yeah. naambia god I, they're in your hands just give me peace because once mm. i start thinking about them it can 
breathe. Yeah. 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 It can take away my peace. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow. Thank you so much for coming, Judy. Mm. That is an encouraging, encouraging story. Mm. You know what you went through and all. And you know, the power of a testimony is to, to you know, to encourage someone and to help them. Mm. And the Bible says that we overcame mm. by the power of our testimony. Yes. you know and by the blood of the lamb <laughs> and that is very important when we share our stories and let people know um don't just see the beauty and the makeup yes you know we've been through a lot mm. and thank you so much for watching and i hope you're encouraged i hope um you know you have learned something from judy's story you know you know, having gone through everything i mean everything being raped gang raped mm. You know your husband leaving you you don't know where to go you get into a violent relationship when you think you know when you think now everything is now is now at peace then something else happened and you know you have a right to ask God questions but I just want to encourage you and to let you know that all things work together for good mm -hmm. even those things that we think mm -hmm. that will not work for good or yeah. we think like mm -hmm. you know I want to commit suicide. God mm. hates me. Mm. But all things work together for good for them that love him. Mm. You might not have a reason to thank him, but just hang in there. And he is your father. You mm. can tell him whatever you feel and mm. anything mm. that you know you would want to tell him. So thank you so much for watching. And we are we we are so uh you know we are so amazed by the love, you know, on on on, on the channel. And may God bless you. And we'll keep doing this every time just to encourage you mm -hmm. and just to let you know that God is still on the throne. Yes. Have yourself an amazing, amazing week. Till next Monday at 6, exactly 6 p.m. Don't miss. See you then.